today. A Nebraska Woodster, like you've heard before, it's time to start procuring wood. Found some easy stuff to grab, let's get it. Hey Woodsters, my name is Mike. Well, you can see right here, we've got a bunch of, uh, looks like dead elm, looks like it's dry which is pretty good because I am looking for some oversized dry stuff. Got cleaned out here over Thanksgiving weekend. So this should be pretty good. I'll uh, get it zipped up. Uh, some of the longer pieces I'll probably just throw in the pickup. Don't have the trailer today, but gonna get that in the pickup. Uh, we'll run that through the processor. Some of the bigger stuff we'll cut. Some of my oversized stuff, I was at 18. We're gonna probably go to 20 inches on that stuff. So um yeah we're gonna go ahead and get some of this procured up here start refilling the pile all right here we go on the end here with some processor wood. I'm not convinced that it won't be a little bit punky. If there's some smaller stuff that'll fit in the boiler just as well too. So let's get it marked up.
Well, there you go. <clears throat> Pretty good little charge there. I think we'll load this up, see how much that is. Maybe take a run back to the wood yard. Looks to be pretty good and dry. I don't even think I have to put a tester to it. Most of that's cut at uh, 60, 40, or 20. I do have a few 16s, just depending on where the where the splits and branches were coming off of there, and then some boiler wood as well. So we'll do a little sorting when we get home and uh, make sure it all gets in the right spot. All right, let's load it. Well, there's the wind we love and know here in Nebraska. It's supposed to pull 20 to 30 day, call it 40 mile an hour gusts. So, so we're gonna hide behind some of these groves on the south side. So anyway, getting a nice little load here. As you can tell, I've been being uh, extra careful with these pickaroons after I tried to knock myself out here a couple weeks ago with one of those deals. So yeah, a little bit of gun shy, but Keep reminding myself, don't get too rammy, but nice little load here of elm, all dry, so ready to ready to cut, ready to split, ready to burn. So that'll help uh, refill one of my uh, oversized piles that uh, kind of got cleaned out around Thanksgiving. So anyway, I don't think I'll throw this back up on the tripod. I will be breaking some stuff here. So we're gonna get this load home. Thanks for coming along. You know the program, like, subscribe, and share. See you on the flip side.